Hello, welcome to Minecraft 63. Uh, guess who forgot to... Lots of issues in these last few episodes. Guess who forgot to hit record when he started the last... It was a good episode, too. We, we, we went to fucking... We learned all about the Australian 10-pound note and the legacy of, of Tim Cook and Thomas S. Harrison... Uh, well, Tim Cook, I, okay, this is all gibberish if you weren't there for the episode. Look, suffice it to say, long story short, um, I didn't hit record in the last episode. So you have the disadvantage of not knowing about the Australian 10-pound note. I have the advantage of knowing about the Australian 10-pound note. I left my gates open. Um, but we're up here. I'm going to make a couple more pickaxes and, um, I don't know, drop off our stuff. Uh, we did, a, all we did was dig out. I mean, luckily, the good thing about missing recording that episode right is that it doesn't fucking matter all we've been doing is just digging blocks out of the slime farm so who fucking cares right who, ca who cares the only thing you missed is education and knowledge and broadening your horizons who cares about that it's bullshit i don't care so um we're just going to go ahead and uh fill this up with shit and we did just that let's do this um i just need a little bit uh i'm, I'm gonna make a couple iron pickaxes i'm gonna make one two three four five six seven eight let's do that um i need oh, let's say divided by two is four four times three is twelve there we go that's quick maths all right and uh just quickly quick, let's just make all these let's just make all of them just make all of them i don't give a, do you see me giving a shit i don't give a shit just make all of them dude just make all these pickaxes okay um, and let's, uh, put this iron away. There we go. There we go. So, I'm um, just need to check that real quick. Okay. I want to make sure I'm recording. <laughs> I'm, like, going to be paranoid now. Um, um, uh, uh, what am I doing? Oh, yes. We were going to look up. So, you're never going to learn. So, I'm, you think, like, this would be a good time. Oh, you could review, like... You can go over the 10 pound note again. No, no. I'm not talking about the Australian 10 pound note ever again. All right, fuck you. That was a once in a lifetime experience. We will go ahead and do something else though. We'll, we'll, we'll look up a new, cause um, I'm kind of following the tradition of if I get a really long project and I don't have anything to talk about, cause I've kind of exhausted all my talking topics now and I'm just breaking blocks. There's nothing to really talk about. So we're gonna, you know, improvise, think on our feet. Um, last time we pulled up a Wikipedia article on the Australian 10 pound note. Um, and now, uh, we're going to learn about what the fuck, um, com Comsolecia Cognatella. Um, great. Thank God. Thank God for that. So, um, let's go ahead and continue to now. Let's turn our grids on and, uh, make our way out here. And, uh, oh, we did finish the bottom. You know, if you wanted to see that, you did miss that. If you're, if you're following the series, you did miss that from the episode that I didn't record on accident. Uh, here it is. You love to see it. This should also be gone. Um, I guess I done. I'll just, I'll just do this. There we go. I need that block there. Okay. So um, we still have these diamonds. I'm not convinced that there's not lava above them, so I'm being very cautious, and I'm just waiting until I get to them in the upper layer. Um, but yeah, so this is what it looks like. We have our layer of uh, of blocks here. I'm gonna light that up a little bit. So um, if we're lucky, slimes might actually spawn down here, but um. That's not the goal. This actually isn't a place for slimes to spawn. This is literally just a room to collect the slime balls. Um, everything we do from this point out is going to be where the slimes spawn. Although slimes can spawn here, um, it's going to be hard because you can't spawn on bedrock. And I don't know the rules, strictly speaking, on slime spawning. I don't know if they spawn all as big or if they can sometimes spawn small. But um, they can't spawn on bedrock. So that means that like getting a big slime down here is going to be fucking hard because they're going to... Like, they need a 3x3, three three and, like, finding a 3x3 three three of stone here. Like, they could spawn here, and here, and, like, here, and, like, here. There's a couple spots, but really it's not easy for them to spawn. They're definitely going to be spawning in these first, so that's good. Um, so, everything we dig out from this point forward is going to be where the slimes are going to be coming into existence in our world. So, um, anyways... Um, you know, far be it for me to keep you from your education, um, unless I don't record. But we are recording now. I've confirmed that we're recording. So we're going to learn about Comsolecchia. I have no idea how to pronounce this fucking word. Comsolecchia cognatella, which is a moth. Actually, I need to... We're getting near the end of this here, and I don't want to dig over. So we're going to we're gonna pause so I can look at the screen. There we go. It is a moth of the family Gel Gelich Gelich Day. Oh, it was described. Okay, now we're getting to the fucking shit that we can actually understand, you and me, all right? 
Because I, I can't understand all this weird shit about, like, Latin names. All right. Fuck the binomial nomenclature. Boring. Stupid. Uh, but here's the shit, right? Francis Walker. Francis Walker. Think about that. Think about Francis Walker, all right? 1864. Uh, now, you were picturing Francis Walker in your mind. Like, oh, Francis Walker. I know that guy. He was around in, uh, in uh, what, uh, 1962? Wrong. You're, you're thinking of a different Francis Walker. This Francis Walker from 1864 was the one that named Comsa Leccia uh, Cognatella. Right? So, uh, get, uh, get fucked. Because you were wrong. You were wrong about your Francis Walker. It was found in Amazonas, or probably Amazonas, Brazil. Um, I don't care about all the classification. What we're going to look at is adults are silvery white. The four wings, dark, cinerous, ash gray beneath cinerous. What kind of word is cinerous? Is that a color? Who did who did this? Who came up with that name? That's a fucking stupid name for a color. You should be ashamed of yourself. Anyways, so they're silvery white. Um, the four wings are dark gray on the bottom. Except the fringe, which is slightly tipped with ochrish... Gracious? What the fuck are these words? Are these... Holy shit. I thought that, like, knowing what cyan was made me, like, a genius for colors, dude. What the fuck is... Acracious? Acracious? Hang on. I'm Googling it. Hang on. Hang on. We're taking a... We're taking a quick trip down the Explordinaire uh, Palace, okay? What the fuck is Acracious? Comparative... Ochre colored? What is ochre? What is ochre? What the fuck is this? Well, that's disgusting. That's vile. A pale brownish yellow. That's gross. That's gross. That's on the outside of its wing. Hang on. Hang on. What What the fuck, dude? Comsolecia cognatella. Hold the fucking phone. Gross. I hate it. I hate it. Look at it's It's gross. I hate you. Look at that. Oh, I hate this thing so much. I'm so disgusted by this. I don't even want to, I don't even want to participate, but we're going to. I like insects too. I actually really like insects. Like I, I love spiders. I love bugs of any variety. I love them, but that thing's just gross. The, it's the color is gross and it's fuzzy. It's uncomfortably, I mean, moths are fuzzy, right? But like, it's uncomfortably, it's, it's the color. It's like. I, like you're you're like fuzzy and white, cool. Fuzzy and brown, great. Fuzzy and uh, neon orange, I love it. What the, what the fuck is that the gross ass fuzziness? I hate it. I hate it. Okay. The hind wings are cinerous. <laughs> That's that word again. Oh, ash gray, right? The hind wings are ash gray, beneath, along the costa, and at the tips. I'm guessing the costa is where the wings split. So that's the coloring. Um, is that it? That sucked. <laughs> that sucks. There's no information. Well, there's our there's our learning. I hope you had fun. Because that's all Wikipedia has given us. <laughs> well, I, I I got a lot more value out of the Australian 10-pound note. I'm not going to lie. That was uh, There was not a lot of value in that moth one. I enjoyed looking at it. It, it, it was pretty in a horrifyingly disgusting kind of way. It kind of reminds me... Um, wasn't there an Aliens movie that was released, like, like 2005 or 2000? Oh, no, wasn't it Prometheus? I think I'm thinking of Prometheus. Um, Prometheus was released a long time ago. And um, there was a biologist in there. And, uh, I don't know, I kind of approach insects the same way he approaches the aliens. He's like, oh, it looks beautiful. Come here, gorgeous. I mean, he didn't, like, make out with it, right? But there was, like, a weird-ass little, like, alien flower in there that was, like, giving birth to some... I don't know. Okay, I don't remember Pro... I'm not gonna lie. It was a while ago. I don't remember Prometheus that well. So sue me. Um, there was some, like, flower that was giving birth to a mouth or something. And the guy was like, oh, so gorgeous. Come here, beautiful. And then the thing, like, like bit his mask or something. So, um... I feel the same way. I, I can look at totally disgusting things and find them beautiful. Even if it's disgusting fucking moth. It's beautiful in some way. It's a cool ass moth. I bet it walks around. Are there two diamonds here? Are you coming in my knapsack, dude? You gotta be. You gotta be shitting on my fucking children. This is not right. That there's only two diamonds. I worked so hard to carefully remove all the lava around those diamonds, and you're telling me there's only two? There better be more diamonds when I break that fucking wall. 
I'm gonna be properly miffed. We're, we're talking properly miffed right now, okay? I'm gonna be miffed times two. This, that, okay, we're we're reaching levels of miffed that are uncomfortably, like they're they're uncomfortable to be held by a normal human, okay? Typical humans cannot be miffed at this level and maintain like maintain good like hand-eye coordination. Like I'm gonna start like spilling my fucking water. I'm gonna start slamming my keyboard. Oh my god, I'm gonna be so miffed. There better be diamonds here. Jesus Christ. Oh, don't fucking je don't jerk me off right now. Oh, you son you son of a bitch. You're the sorriest son of a bitch I've ever seen. You 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 Oh, you absolutely fucking disgusting. Two diamonds. After all that work, after saving myself for the marriage with them so long, they fucking cucked me so hard. I am disgusted with those diamonds. To be quite frank with you. I don't know if I'll ever trust again. But that's okay. Because now we have two diamonds. Look, what does that mean? That means we have four diamonds. So, uh, yeah. Fuck you. I have four diamonds. I mean, two of them are already spoken for. I'm gonna make an enchanting table, but... I have two diamonds. I, I can make a hoe. A sword. A shovel. I can make two shovels. I mean, you want to talk about bang for your buck. I can make two shovels. Um, I can make a boot. A single boot for my left foot. And my right foot would just get wet and soggy. Um, damn. Uh, there's so much I could do with two diamonds. Uh, I can make a jukebox. I can make two jukeboxes. Or I can make a jukebox and a shovel. I should make a jukebox, actually. <laughs> I don't have any CDs, though. They're hard to get. And, like, I'm past that point in my life where I'm putting in, like, active effort to get them, you know? It's just not me anymore. I don't even like the music. I don't even listen to them. So, it's a bit of a shame. But, uh, we might actually finish this whole... <coughs> Shit. Oh, God, my throat's so dry. We might actually finish this section during this uh, recording, which would be cool as fuck. Uh, we still need to go mining. We're gonna... This will be the last episode we do of uh, digging out the slime farm. We made some pretty decent progress on it, actually. More than I kind of expected. I guess I dig faster than I realized. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna go mining after this. Uh, you know, on the hunt for diamonds, as per usual. And I need iron. I need iron really badly. Um, like I said uh, a couple episodes ago, this farm takes a lot of iron, so... Um, I'm gonna want some for sure. I don't need a lot of iron. I could probably get away. I could probably get away with using about a stack of iron. But I don't know if it's going to work. And I don't feel like experimenting. So I'm probably just going to use like two and a half stacks or something. You know. You, you know. I, I'm a completionist at heart. It looks better when you have so much iron in this farm. It, 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 it looks great. All right. It looks wonderful. So that's what we're going to do. So, uh, we got, we got, we got three and a half more minutes digging this shit out. That's amazing. That's what I like to see. You know, I probably should have looked up another Wikipedia article, but I kind of, you know, I don't like overloading. You know, I don't want to do more than one, one per episode. I mean, well, you want to learn about the Australian 10 pound note and the Brazilian moth? I don't remember its name. I'm sorry. You, you, what, you, you want to learn about that? You want to learn about that at the same time? You can't handle that. I can't handle that. What are you? What are you taking me for? A, for a fucking for a, for a, for a Mowgli out here? You taking me for a for a Rube? You taking me for a for a hot-handed Harry? I can't handle that. I can't take that shit at all. I also I'm glad I'm getting coal because I love coal. Okay, Cole and I were on speaking terms. I'm not on speaking terms with a lot of blocks, but I am on speaking terms with coal. Cole and I, I, I fuck with coal. Okay, I use a lot of coal in my furnaces and stuff. So. As far as I'm concerned, Cole and I are cool. I'll always, I'll always have room in my heart for coal. People get to a point in their worlds where they stop mining coal, and I think that those are the people that go caving, because you get shit tons of coal when you cave, uh, respectably so. Um, you know, I can understand you caving and being like, okay, I don't want coal anymore, but I always need coal, dude. I need coal. I need so much coal until I get kelp farms, which can I say, Minecraft 1.16, they are adding. I mean, they're not adding, but they're changing something in the game to where you're now going to be able to zero tick kelp. I don't think anyone that's going to watch this will really know what that means, but it's cool as fuck. I'm looking forward to some zero ticked kelp. That farm is going to be so much easier to build than the normal kelp farm. 
I'm going to be sad when Minecraft patches out zero ticking, which, again, none of you know what that is. But um, eventually, you know, if you stick around and watch, like, 300 more episodes in the series, you'll learn what zero ticking is. Eventually, I'll build a zero tick farm, and uh, that'll be fucking great. And then, then we'll we'll cheer about how cool zero ticking is together. But basically, zero ticking is a way to f grow crops, like, really fucking fast. Like, incredibly fucking fast. And, um... It's really easy. It's simple. It's a glitch, basically. It's a glitch. I'm, I'm not gonna. I won't. I won't fudge with the truth. Um, it's it's a glitch. I, you shouldn't be able to do it. And they're probably gonna patch it out of the game one day. But for the time being, you can do it, and it's really fucking cool. So um, I'm excited that you couldn't do it with kelp. Basically, is what I'm getting at. You could do zero tick a lot of plants. Like you could zero tick uh, sugar cane, cactus. Um, you can do the new weeping vines that they're releasing in the update. Um, I don't know a bunch of shit, but. Uh, uh, you can never do it to kelp, but now you can. Well, and when whenever 1.16 gets released, which is probably in like, I don't know, 20 years. So uh, whenever they release 1.16, zero to kelp, baby. I'm, I'm here for it. Frankly, that's, I'm probably most excited about that. The nether, I'm not going to lie. Nether update, I'm a little, eh, you know, I'm not like, I, it's cool. I like it. It's a good update. I'm not shitting on any part of it. The nether doesn't excite me. I'm not, I'm not getting out of my seat and, you know you know, twisting my nipples over the nether. Okay, that this... Uh, it, it looks good. It, it looks... I like the atmosphere. It, everything... I love the new netherite. I love it. Okay. I, I'm not excited. I'm not excited. I'm just pleasantly going to enjoy it. But, like, you give me zero tick kelp, now I'm excited. Now I'm excited. That's... So now I'm ready. Now I'm eagerly waiting 1.16's release. I could play the snapshots, but I don't like playing snapshots. I like playing the games as they're, um... I, I don't like I like playing vanilla games. I don't like playing either with mods or with experimental releases that aren't fully fleshed out. Yeah, that's not really me. So I should probably get this redstone actually. Shouldn't I? That'd be the smart thing to do. So um uh I I don't play the snapshots. I am just uh waiting for the official release. And um yeah, whenever that happens, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a happy camper. But uh, until then, I'm gonna put this torch here. You know. We will uh We'll, we'll just wait for it. We'll, we'll, we'll wait like uh like like good boys. So that's gonna be that. Um, the next episode we'll do a little bit of mining and uh I don't know. We'll maybe we'll uh jump off a small cliff or something. Who knows? The the day's young. I'll see you there. Mm -hmm.